Just got our fur taken off. That's the fur rack we had at the Pennsylvania Convention. You can see our pick bins in the background. That's all of our snares that we produce, whether it's fox snare or raccoon beaver snare, the compression snares, aggressive snares, coyote snares, rabbit snares, survival series, another rack of fur right there. Just uh, all of our stuff. For when everybody out there orders, we like to take care of you with all of our stuff and it's all of our baits and lures and looks like we got a, a leaker here. We see that once in a while. It looks like one of our territories was leaking into the label, so we're gonna have to fix that. But that's part of the process. Sometimes you don't do everything perfect, but this is where when you order from us, that's the packing station. We'll pack it up right there for you. And we definitely appreciate everybody's business out there but we just pulled in and i'm actually by myself today it's a weekend no employees here i got my trailer and as you can see i got some 450s and 550s actually bill i ordered i got i think i got seven pallets in last week and uh we we had a great show you know we're coming back with some traps but we took quite a few traps with us and appreciate everybody who got their uh, baits and lures from us and things of that nature. But this is kind of a kickoff. So I was talking to a lot of people over there and they asked me, you know, what's a day like that you do? And I had two or three people ask me, what's a normal day for you? What do you do? You know, and I said, well, I have a warehouse and, you know, we got a lot of work to do. We either make baits and lures or you know, we're packing orders, you know, for everybody or, you know, possibly we're over here and we're cutting cables to make snares out of. That's our cable cutter. That's one of the items that came with my purchase of Dakota line. So we don't have to hand cut every cable. It's a plasma cutter. We feeds through here and psst, and it cuts it off and we'll show that at some point. We got our presses there and actually I'll take you over and I'll show you where we, I call it the magic. I love, I love making bait and, and lure and, you know, obviously just purchased the Johnny Thorpe lure line and this is where we do it. And in the summertime, we have to put the fly tapes up because they tend to get uh, busy in here, but that's our ingredients wall and we got ingredients here and that's our labels. But this is the, the room that we do all of the lure and bait making unless it's skunk. Uh, we were making that here. I have to make that at home now because the person I leased this from has come in not once, but twice and said, uh, yeah, we can't have you making that here. People are, people are gagging. <laughs> so we can't make the madness here and we can't make our new lure, but I had people ask, you know, what do you do on a daily basis? And I was like, you know, I've been thinking about showing some things. I mean, we've showed you how to make your own bait. We showed you how we make our mountain man. We showed you how to make a beaver lure. A great beaver lure is just beaver caster, oil sack, and glycerin. You got about the best beaver lure you can possibly have right there. The only thing you got to do is you got to go catch a beaver. But we're going to unload this trailer. But this is kind of a kickoff to something that I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start showing what we do here and people that want to watch it you can and you'll learn things hopefully we're always open to suggestions if you want to learn something and, and we know how to do it we'll show it um but uh this is kind of something that we're going to do with our youtube channel we're going to try and make it more interactive um i know that over the last two years we started the youtube channel there in the fall i believe of 22 we started posting stuff and i think we're at 10,000 or a little over 10,000 of you out there have have subscribed to us and we appreciate that and we appreciate the support and we're gonna we're gonna show you some of these day-to-day -day operations a lot of times it'll be right in here it'll be in our warehouse either here or on the other side and once in a while we might have to get something off the top and hopefully i don't fall when i'm getting it but uh we're going to show you what we do and how we do things and we hope you come along for the ride but 
Uh, we're always open to suggestions, as I said. We're always going to be open to anything that you want to see. As I unload this, you know, the demo this week, we showed uh, our walkthrough set. And you can see that uh, on YouTube where we show the walkthrough set. I had some really good questions. Guys were asking, you know, how close the holes are or whatever. And, we answered all those. The demo went really well. It was great to have a full demo in Pennsylvania. Uh, I think the whole weekend we had full demos because it was a good crowd, even though a ton. I was talking to somebody today. It's the second hottest convention I've ever been to. I've set up at Pennsylvania probably a dozen years. I started setting up at the NTA back in, I think my first year was 2004 set up at the FTA in 2004 as well. But somewhere in the late 2000s, mid to late 2006, 2007, 2008, the NTA was in Hutchinson, Kansas. And we were out in the middle of nowhere and like, I think it was like a barn or something, not a barn, but a, you know, a big building out and it was so hot. I think it was 115 degrees. It was, it was so treacherous. Uh, but the last three days for as hot as it was, there was a pretty good crowd here at Pennsylvania, which was pretty awesome actually to have everybody there. And, but by one o'clock in the afternoon, people were needing to get to some AC. Uh, <laughs> I was sitting there, I was thinking it'd been a pretty good time to just lather up in butter. We could have been basting under that tent this weekend, but all in all, it was, uh, a really good show and I think everybody had a great time at the event. But I'm gonna finish unloading this trailer. I just kinda of wanted to kick this off and let people know that we're gonna to start to do more of a, I'm not a big reality show guy and it's not gonna be, uh, anything or we're trying to do to get laughs or whatever. We're just going to show the day-to-day -day operations that we, we go through. I, and, and there was a lot of people this week asking me a lot of questions like, you know, what do you do? You know, do you do this full time? Yeah, we do do this full time. This is our job. This is what I do. This is what uh, we do on a daily basis, whether it's in this warehouse or whether we're at a convention or, or anything of that nature. But I'm gonna finish unloading this trailer and as time goes on, we're gonna to start to upload these and, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. If there's anything out there that you ever wanna see, let me know. We'll do our best to, uh, to lead uh, you guys all in a direction. And it's, it's something that uh, I enjoy. You know, I really enjoy this, you know, I basically have, built this up over the last four or five years. Uh, I've been doing this for, like I said, the first convention I ever went to was 2004, but kind of regenerated the spirit a few years ago. And we've got the warehouse and we've got all the different things and we're gonna be showing you stuff and we hope you come along for the ride. With that, I'm gonna continue on with this trailer. Email us today for a free catalog to browse all of our traps and snares, baits and lures, and much more. Get all of your trapping and predation control needs by emailing to info at NorthAmericanTrapper.com for your free catalog. Proven products equals proven conservation.